Now, you, once you just integrate the r, with the r, then it takes uh, x square of 2. Now you only have a y in the integral in the uh, dy. So then you have a still y square of 2, which is 0 to l, right? So now this should be a square over l over 2 plus k a square over l square over 4. Okay, so now uh, I'm done with the something bracket now, right? The total force now must be negative rho z to pi. Okay. Right. right away. 2 pi rho z rho now g. And break it here. This one be a square l over 2 plus k a square over l divided by. Okay, you can just simplify this, you know, if you want, but I'll leave it here, okay? I'll leave it like this, okay? So any questions? Okay, so far uh, I've shown you uh, something you just, uh, uh, you know, simply use the equation and then you know, solve uh, integral, how you integrate and how you differentiate. Uh, things like that, but now let's go into the like the real problem now. Application problem using Bernoulli equation or you know the hydrostatic equilibrium. Uh, let me okay. Let me delete this guy. So Okay, can I delete this? Everyone. Them, right? <laughs> so this is them, surface of them. So, and the function y and x relationship must be y equal x squared here. Okay. So, and then uh, your fluid twice uh, here, so there's no mo motion at all. But however, this is uh, this is density of row. Okay. Over here, and then action uh, the gravity downwards. Okay, then this then uh, the water fluid actually into the height is going to be HR. Okay. Now what you're gonna do here is um, you have to find force, the total force acting on the dam, right? Okay, so Damn surface. This is two dimensional. So you have to think about what kind of forces here. So, um, so in this case, due to the, the force due to the fluid is only pressure. There is nothing else because there is no shear force. It's only the you know pressure actually the acting on the damp surface. Yeah. So basically, it's kind of you know force going to be in this direction somewhere, right? Okay. Now. What is the definition of you know, force due to the pressure? So your force due to the pressure, I write this way, but I'm not, I'm not sure about this case, but I usually take minus here, and the P and the DA, okay? This N is normal. Normal to the surface towards the fluid, my case. This is my case, okay? So this is my N here. That's why I got negative here. But which means that because of negative, you end up being positive. And this way, okay, let me take this in carefully. Okay, no. 
Okay, so I'll start with this, uh, the fourth uh, the equation. Okay, so now. Okay, so, so how are you gonna, how are you gonna, how are you gonna get the, the normal components from like surface function, surface equations? I'll just uh, uh, let you know about a uh, very uh, basic uh, formula how to get normal component of the surface equation. So surface equation is usually at, uh, writing as x, y, z, like uh, zero when f of x, y, z equals zero, so we call that as surface equation, okay? So surface equations, actually you have some surface on 3D, this is surface, you know, this is surface, uh, say, element, for example. This is function, usually you can write that as z, okay, in two dimension, in three dimension, okay? So then how you calculate that several persons, you have a several different normal here. So how you come up with that is usually what you do is just you did, you did dp, df, dx. You just you know, differentiate function f with respect to x and then do that y, do that g, okay? And then divide by, okay? So this is our function, okay? So, Okay, I'll write that as df dx as, okay, f of one, f of x, f of y, f of g, okay? So then you are doing f of x squared plus f of y squared plus f of z squared. This is magnitude of these vectors, okay? So then you do the same thing here. Then you get this as normal vector, okay? Normal, normal component of the surface. So this is very uh, basic uh, general, you know, the equation how to get normal from the surface, okay? Uh, yes. Your df, the last part, is that supposed to be df? Uh, yeah, df, dx, I consider that as f of x. The f last one. It says df, dx, the last dz. df, dz, sorry. Oh, dz, yeah, okay. dz, xyz direction. Okay, then you get, uh, uh, your normal can have like three components, right? x component, y component, z component. So keep this in mind, okay, to how to get the normal. Okay, anyway, so now, Okay, now we'll go to the find normal here because I need normal for the surface, right? So I find normal in this direction. But then you have like a y equal x square, okay? That is your function, your surface function. So how do you get the surface function is f is y minus x square now, okay? So now to get, let's get normal now, okay? Your normal, so for, unfortunately this is 2D, so you don't need to worry about z, okay? Only the x and y component here. Yeah. So your normal must be df dx, right? And then square root of this guy. And then this is x component and the y component df dy. And then the magnitude of that, okay? Okay, now you have df dx is, you're gonna differentiate with respect to x now, it's going to be minus 2x, right? It's minus 2x. Okay, what about this? df dy is just one. Okay. And however you know that, this is just, you are talking about normal. normal. Magnitude of normal must be equal to always one, uh, the one, right? So that's why you have to uh, divide by this by this guy to get the normal, right? Okay. So what it is is, this is going to be, okay, in the square root, f of x square plus f of y square must be, now you have negative two x to these squares, which is four square, one to these squares, which is one, right? So these are the, something you have to write down here, so that part, okay? Okay, finally you get normal must be, you get negative two x over, square root 4x squared plus 1, and then 1 over square root 4x squared plus 1. Any questions so how to get the number? I have a question. Yeah. Um, did he provide the solution that he has also? Or? Oh, sorry, book solutions. Because I think we did it differently, right? No, it's a solution. Oh, it's not the other Yeah, uh, but whatever I do, the weight different, you find your convenient. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> so, it's, yeah, I like yeah. this. Yeah, but uh, this is more general, I think. Yeah, so uh, anyway, 
So once you find normal, because I think probably he started with like plus here, so I don't confuse with that. Because that, uh, what he does is looking for this, this vector. So he is probably look for the n vector here, not like me. So, but anyway. Okay. So. Okay. Now you have. Now we have no more, right? So now what you have to do is your pressure. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So hydrostatic equilibrium, so you can get the pressure, right? So your pressure uh, is what? In this case, uh, y, right? So your pressure y is minus rho g, okay? Okay, now, so you have to integrate this, okay, dp, okay, dp equals minus rho g dy, okay, integrate it, uh, integrate it like this, okay. Then when you have p now here, this is p now, sorry, so p now, mm -hmm. so when you have p now, your, your y is here, so basically in the h, right? So at y h, p, your p is p now, so this is your h, right? Okay, now 2D somewhere in P, somewhere in Y, okay? So if you do this integra integration, then you can end up being, you can have, say, P naught, you can say P for P naught, plus rho G, H minus Y, okay? Well, however, Y is, what, X squared, right? So I write this as, Function of x now, p naught plus dense times g times h minus x to the square. Okay, so you got it. So now, so it's a, it's a bit complicated, but uh, let's finish up. So now you have the p as function of x. Okay, now d a. How is over d a? In the uh, in the uh, Cartesian coordinates, so you have like. So you have some damn surface like this, okay? Damn surface. Damn. So this is, okay? I'll say this is dA. So dA is actually uh, this, the lens times that. So that's we take a unit, okay? So this means that you are, this is just sort of dA mod means just length, okay? I'm sorry, in that second integral down there, you want from h to y. Yep. Is it zero to h or? No, when you have p, okay, because your reference frame is y is on the bottom, right? So, so when you have y is equal to h, you have p now. So, which means the corresponding y for p now is h, okay? Right? Okay, now you do dA in the uh, x and y uh, Cartesian coordinates, so you have, okay, dA, dA is dx component, dy component, right? In collision coordinates, so you can have a dA is square root of dx square or dy square, okay? So you use this guy, okay? Uh, then you have y is x square, so this can be the x square, so you could just put d here, dy equal to 2x dx, okay? So you put in here, so you get 4x square, dx square. So which means, 1 plus 4x squared, dx, okay? So this is dA, okay? So you got dA and everything done. So now let's go back to the equation, original equation here, okay? So force equal negative. Okay, your force vector is negative now, P now, okay? Okay, P now plus rho G, H minus X to this group, okay? Very sad. Okay, now you have your N vector, okay? Your N vector is this. So I found it here somewhere. Okay, here, here we go. So we have uh, negative 2X, square root 4X square plus 1, and then 
1 over 4x squared plus 1, okay? And then your dA is same thing, 4x squared plus 1 dx. Okay, now D, I got comma here because you have two components. One is x and one is y. Okay, that's why you have vector, right? So now, because these are same, so I'll remove that part. Okay, eliminate that. Okay, so now you have this guy, then, uh, then you have in x direction, okay? So x directions, uh, you have this guy, right? So not that one, that is y direction. So you can have a minus rho p naught, that's rho g, h minus x squared, okay? Then you have a negative 2x, yes, okay? Okay, so take that minus to the positive, so you have like P naught 2x plus rho g h 2x minus, uh, it's going to be plus, right?